I'm at my dad's allotment and they have this cute little shed where you can take things and leave things. Which is really cool, they've got some blackberry pants, some broad beans, some strawberries. I don't know what's in here, something. So I've just been to dad's allotment and I don't want to the best but he's currently locking the gate down there on the ground <laughs> and I did the other one at my room and house so I'm sat in the golden car waiting for him to finish but he feels slightly guilty and he's slightly Unflattering lighting seat. Um, please ignore my messy kitchen behind me. That's one of my jobs to do today is to clean the kitchen. However, I'm, I'd say I'm having a lazy morning, but it's 12 o'clock. So it's my winter break, I'm seeing this as. So I don't go start, don't get back to work until the 15th of January. So I'm just kind of making the most of having some time at home. So I'm so, 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 so pleased that I um made it to 12 days i really didn't think i would i think i tried i thought about doing this last year and just thought there's no way i'm actually going to get 12 days of footage but actually i have and i'm very pleased with myself so i've got 12 little days for you guys um some of them aren't very interesting i know that but they make me happy um i know a few people are watching them so hi to those people um, that have commented and I'm really enjoying this. I've also uploaded a podcast um, yesterday as well, which is a bit of like a longer version of this. If you've never watched my podcast, please do. And yeah, so my plans for today are, I need to clean the kitchen. I need to brave the shops because I really don't want to do it, but I need to. Um, I said I'd bake a few things for my mum for Christmas day and like over the Christmas period. So I need to get a move and do that. I've also got some cookie dough in the fridge, which I need to cook. So I need to do that. Um, but really all I want to do today is knits and I want to make some pop poms as well. So I've got an idea for something that I want to do. So yeah, last night I went out with my friends, Emma and Tori for dinner, which was really nice. We had a really lovely dinner and like just lots of nice drinks and chats and all sorts. So. I'm not feeling a little bit worse for wear today. I didn't drink that much. I just feel a bit like slow this morning. Like I just want to take things easy and chill. Frida's God knows where. I need to do a few like R&D bits like return something at a shop. I bought this rug for my flat, but it just doesn't look right. So it's going to go back. So I need to return that. So maybe I'll do that first before like tackling the kitchen because I really just can't face cleaning <laughs> right now. Yeah, maybe I'll do that, get my shoes on, go out, return the rug, get what I need from the shops and then come back and do the cleaning. I'm seeing my friend Caroline this evening. We're going for dinner just for like some dinner and drinks um, just before Christmas and she's coming over here first to see Frida, which would be really nice because she's not met Frida. And yes, yeah, so I need to tidy up in here a little bit. My bedroom's fine to be a bit messy, but... I kind of like my living room to be a bit tidier and I've just got like craft stuff everywhere so I think what I'll do is make myself a coffee get out to the shops and then do some tidying up I also need to work out I think I have no hot water which is just fucking brilliant <laughs> I feel like my life is falling apart <laughs> so my washing machine is broken and I've got a new one coming in between Christmas and New Year so that was like 300 pounds that I wasn't planning to spend before Christmas. Then obviously I had the problems with my car and my tire was completely shredded. So that was 150 pounds that I wasn't planning to spend before Christmas. 
And then I was driving to my mum and dad's yesterday and my anti-lock brake thing is broken on my car. So that's another however much money that's gonna cost me. So I'm just really not enjoying things at the moment. And I think I just need to be a bit more, I think what I need to do is budget because I'm not very good at budgeting. I don't go mad, but like I bought this rug the other day before this problem with my car and I keep thinking, well, I shouldn't have bought that rug. And also, so it wasn't that expensive, but it's just things like, I don't need that, just go and return it, Claire. Just go and return it. So, yeah, also it doesn't look great in here, so, yeah. Anyway, that's me rambling on about my life falling apart. <laughs> Oh, and that's the other thing. So I think I've got no hot water now, which is brilliant. So my heating is working, but for some reason my shower isn't getting hot. So I had to have a shower in cold water yesterday, which was horrible. Um, and yeah, I know I need to call out a plumber or something, but also like, oh, that's just more expense that I don't have. So I think I might just be having cold showers for a bit and boiling water. I'm going to my mum and dad's over Christmas. So, hopefully it won't be too bad, but annoying. Being an adult, having your own home, sucks sometimes. <laughs> right, I need to get off my bum and do some stuff. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So I've been to the shops, turned this rug, and I came in to do some pom-poms, but Frida, oh, she doesn't want to do it now. She did want to be part of it, but she's gone. So I'm making some pom-poms, and I'll show you when I've got a few more done. So I thought I'd show you that I can look presentable on the vlog. Um, I've done my hair and makeup because I'm going out tonight with a friend who I used to work with. So um, I need to find like her Christmas stuff and we're going to go for like dinner and drinks. So it'll be really nice to catch up with her. I've actually put like a, oh doesn't really look, it's kind of a sparkly top. This is about as Christmassy I get with jeans and I've got some sparkly eyeshadow on. So this is like effort Claire as opposed to like the disgusting um, home Claire that you've seen the rest of the videos. <laughs> I do look nice sometimes. <laughs> the reason I was turning it on anyway, I wanted to show you the pom-poms that I made. I made the garland out of them and I just strung it up over my um, living room. So that's quite nice. Oh, Frida's heard the people walking past. So yeah, it's all feeling very festive in here now. I've got some cinnamon incense burning and yeah, I've got one day left at home tomorrow and then I'm, there's all the junk I need to sort out on here. And then yeah, off to my mum and dad, so that'll be really nice. And I'm just gonna turn around and show you the pom-pom garland properly because the back camera is better than the front one. Here you go, so here are some pom-poms. These were left over from like a little Christmassy thing we and my mum were doing. So I just like these colours together because I thought they were Christmassy but not too Christmassy. And yeah. I don't know if I've shown you this, this on the vlog. Um, this is this beautiful print I got when I was in Amsterdam. And I love it so much. It's these little birds and fish and all sorts from this printmaker called Eddie Varkamp. Which, yeah, lovely. And this one here is by a lady called Maya Sawa. Um, she used to work at the print studio that I worked at for a bit and she gave me one of these prints which is absolutely beautiful. It's an etching and it is the most intricate drawing. It's so amazing. She does the most beautiful work. So there's that. And this one I'm showing you art. This painting was made by a classmate of mine at art college, um, Emily Scott. So I now have that in my flat. This little blue one here is one of my prints from uni. Oh, I'm right next to the incense here and it smells amazing. Um, yeah, I made this whilst I was at uni, it's uh, etching. And then on this side, next to my stocking, I have this absolutely beautiful bee wall hanging my mum made me. Um, my mum makes quilts and things and I always said to her one day I would like this bee wall hanging for my new flat and it's one of my most treasured possessions in the world. <laughs> um, if my flat was burning down, I would probably take this and Frida and maybe a few other bits and pieces, but probably mostly this. Um, it's all hand stitched. So, well, I think 
the it might be um it's probably done the machine in the back but all this is hand stitched um all these were cut out and hand sewn and then the bees were done by hand as well so it's absolutely stunning and it goes pride of place on this wall i love it oh and i also wanted to show you guys this beautiful cross stitch my friend amy made me for christmas and i absolutely love it she did art with me at uni and she recently had a baby as the she was the one that i made the calendar for so she's kind of getting into crafting as well i think while she's been on maternity leave so i love it <laughs> i love it so much so it's pride of place there with my little dying spider plant <laughs> and my salt lamp so yeah Frida's is currently sitting by the sink i don't know why she's doing that and yeah all ready to go really so my friend caroline is running behind a bit so i thought i'd take the opportunity to have a coffee because i'm feeling a little bit chilly and it'd be nice to have some warmth in me and i thought i'd show you guys my cute new mug i got it's an emma bridgewater one i actually got two in the sale so very pleased with these i thought they were very cute and christmasy but not like overtly christmasy because i realized i don't have any christmas mugs and i've just got my blanket on me unfortunately frida's rejecting me she's sat over there i'd prefer if she was sat on me but she looks quite cozy there don't she little frida so anyway i'm drinking this catching up on a few vlogmas videos and yeah just chilling gonna do a bit of knitting if i've got some time after drinking this So it is not morning, even though I'm in bed. <laughs> I have had a very lazy, slow day today because um, the casual dinner and drinks that I went for last night turned into be a bit of a wild one. <laughs> so I had a very slow morning. <laughs> Didn't get up until the afternoon, basically. And then I had a plumber come to look at the reason why I've got no hot water. And I've got a valve broken which needs to be fixed, but everywhere is shut now until after Christmas. So it's a good thing I'm going to my mum's tomorrow over Christmas. So yeah, that's annoying. And another expense, so you know, brilliant. But whatever. I had a good night out last night. Um felt a little bit worse for wear this morning, so I've just taken it easy. And now it's like three o'clock in the afternoon, it's going dark. So yeah. Anyway. The reason why I turned it on is I'm going to combine like a couple of days so you don't just get these weird like half day vlogs but um, I'm going to do some baking now ready for Christmas and also kind of like write a list of stuff that I need to take tomorrow so I don't forget anything because I know there'll be stuff I forget. Um, Frida just is attacking my legs. Come here bun. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. She's thinking about it. She's here. Nope, she's gone. This way my crotch. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to make some croissants, which is quite exciting. And um, it's kind of a lengthy process, so I need to start it now and finish it tomorrow so they're ready for Christmas Day. Because it's the 23rd of December, which is mental. Because, I don't know, just December's gone so fast this year. I don't really know what's happened. It just seems like I blinked and I missed it. But I've been had no, I've had a lot of nice time, and doing this video has kind of made me think a bit more about what I'm doing and kind of remember things a bit more, which is nice. But it just seems to have gone so quickly, which is a bit mad. So I'm going to start on the croissant dough, and I need to tidy up a bit so I can make space for it. And yeah stop knitting which is what I want to do really just do some knitting veg on the couch and do some knitting okay Frida stop trying to attack me she's coming with me to my mum's which is very exciting so I think she's looking forward she knows something's happening I think because I've got like a suitcase out and stuff so she knows she knows and look how well my nails are doing by the way you can just you can't see but some of the foils are starting to chip off around the edges like on my thumb here but look how good they've held up I mean, the growth has obviously happened, but I'm getting them done on the 28th of December, so it's like five days time. So I'm hoping they just hold up a bit more until then. And yeah, 
I don't know what I'm going to go for next time. I think maybe a, because it's going to be like my New Year's nails, I'm thinking maybe like a gold sparkly colour or something with some black. I'm having a think. I've been looking at the the lady who does my nails. She's got a Facebook page where everyone like, she puts pictures of everyone's designs and stuff. So I've been looking on there for some inspiration today. But I'm loving this green. I've had so many compliments on this green. Anyway, right, I need to get up and do something. Frida's looking at me like she wants a cuddle. So I sat back down just to film that clip that you just saw. And Luca immediately comes to sit on me and has a little snooze. So I can't get up now, can I? I can't get out of bed and disturb this little one. Baby. I feel like this vlogmas has just been like an essay on how Claire is obsessed with her cat. This is the recipe that I use for my croissants. Um, it's from the Paul Hollywood How to Bake book. He's the guy off Great British Bake Off for American people. Um, yep, so this is a croissant recipe. It's, it looks really long. It really, it isn't difficult to make. It's just kind of faffy because you've got to make the dough and then like roll it out with butter in between and then all this kind of stuff. So you just mix everything together and then you let it into a dough and you put it in a flour bag and then you leave it in the fridge for an hour and then you come back and you layer out the butter in between so yeah it's pretty good um here's a recipe if anybody wants to use it some cleaning wipes here for your bruiser so so i'm coming with a little cuddle with kitty biscuits are in the oven croissant dough is chilling watching that new bright film um that's on netflix this is some stuff ready to take with me to my parents. That's a new ball for Frida over there. Yes. Oh, it's because I click when I want her not to do something. <laughs> Sorry, darling. No, no, no. It's fine. Sorry. Oops. So this is the next step of the process. You take the dough out and you roll it out. So it's about 60 centimetres by, I don't know, 21 or something. And then you have your dough, your butter, which has got to fit this. So that needs to be a bit wider and you put it on and then you like fold it over to make the laminated dough. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. 